Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Lisa Cosette. Here. Peter Mulcahy. Here. Patrick Fullen. Here. Matt Armenti. Here. Staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Rowan McAllister. Here. Andy Truman. Yep. And Krista Mapolo. Here. Thank you. And Madam Chair, I believe the town planner, Bernie Cahill, is here as well. Mr. Cahill, you are, yes, he is. I am here. Thank you, Madam Chair. Wonderful. So good evening. This is an open meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals and is being conducted remotely consistent with government, Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. The order, which you can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of this meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless, unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will feature public commentary. For this meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals, it's being convened by telephone conference and video conference via Google Hangout as posted on the town's website identifying how the public may join. All right, basic ground rules. We're now turning to the first agenda item. Please, before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules for effectiveness. I am Mary Beth Lynch, and I will be introducing each board member or staff member who has a lead role for this particular item. After they conclude their remarks, the chair will go down the line of members first and then to staff members, inviting each by name to provide any comment or questions. I will then call upon the members to offer a motion and for a second. I will then hold, we'll, I'm sorry, will then call upon the members to offer a motion and a second. Please hold until your name is called and please remember to unmute and mute yourself by pressing star six or mute your computer when you are not speaking so as not to trigger your camera feed. After members have spoken, the chair will afford public comments as follows. The chair will ask each member of the public who wishes to speak to identify their name and address only. Once the chair has a list of all public comments, I will call on each by name and afford three minutes for any comments. For any responses, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in conversation with other members, please do so through the chair being taken care to identify yourself. Finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by a roll call vote. Proceeding on to our first and only public hearing at 6 p.m. This is to hear the appeal of 526 Hartford Turnpike, the point at Hills Farm. It's located in a limited industrial Route 20 overlay district, Smart Growth LLC. This is for a modification to a comprehensive permit granted November 28th, 2016 pursuant to the provision of chapter 40B, section 20 to 23 of the Massachusetts general law to allow for a reduction in the density of units. The public hearing for 526 Hartford Turnpike, otherwise known as Point at Hills Farm, is a continued public hearing. Can the applicants please reintroduce themselves and provide a status update? Good evening, uh, Mr. Chairman. I mean, Madam Chairman, uh, this is Fran Zaretti from Smart Growth Design LLC, the applicant for the project. <clears throat> We've been working on this project for the last uh, five or six years. We finally came to a, a consensus and conclusion in the last uh, month or so uh, regarding any outstanding issues. The main issue was the offsite infrastructure. <clears throat> and in working very closely and diligently with the DPW and its sub departments, um, we've came up with a final solution uh, regarding the offsite water and also the offsite sewer. So um, we've submitted the information. Um, it was vetted, properly vetted through the town. And right now we have an agreement in terms of what would be required for the water and what would be required for the sewer. And uh, this information was transferred uh, into the draft decision and the language was inserted in there addressing these two areas that were um, under discussion for several several months. And we feel now that we have the, uh, <clears throat> the solution uh, to the, these two issues. So uh, at this point, um, we're pretty much good with everything. We submitted, uh, we looked at the draft decision 
and we had a console look at it and they had some housekeeping issues and some minor tweaks to the decision, which was, I guess, also reviewed by town council. And I believe everything seems to be in order minus some minor comments that I think may have come about on a couple of the items. I'm not sure of that. But having said all that, I think we're very good here on our end. And, and after speaking over several years, I pretty much don't have much to say this evening, uh, which is a good thing. So um, that's exactly where we are now. And if there's any questions, we'll be glad to address them. Thank you, Mr. Zaretti. Uh, Mr. Truman, town engineer, is there anything to add? Is Mr. Truman here? I did see he dropped off the call. Maybe he had okay, technical difficulty. All right. Well, I'm going to skip over to Ms. McAllister if I can. Um, can you add anything? Uh, no, I can just confirm uh, what Mr. Zaretti said. Uh, we reviewed the decision, uh, draft decision with town council and DPW staff and uh, all are, all are uh, comfortable in an agreement with the draft in front of you tonight. Thank you. I am going to call upon each board member to see if they have questions or comments. I'd like to start with Lisa Cosette. Uh, I have no questions. I uh, reviewed the updated comprehensive permit and I thank the appellant for working diligently with all town departments to answer our concerns. So thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Fullen, questions, comments? I am good also. Thank you. Uh, Matt Armenti, questions, comments? No questions, Madam Chair. And Mr. Mulcahy? Nothing from me, Madam Chair. Thank you. Okay. And I, too, just would comment that there's been a lot of work put into this by a lot of people, and we thank you all. Um, I said it was like reading War and Peace when we read through the, uh, the draft comments. So <laughs> and I will admit to never having finished War and Peace. So, um, okay. So <laughs> given that this is a public hearing, is there any members of the public present who have questions or comments? And I'd ask that these questions remain brief and work through up oh, we have um excuse mr. me truman. yes <laughs> thank you um mr truman could i ask you to give us a quick update as our town engineer he Can't must be tell. having problems let's see I'm gonna give him a minute because he might have a couple important he is muted <laughs> okay. Mr. Truman, Andy, can you hear us? I can. Sorry, I was having some technical issues. That's okay. No problem. Um, you skipped out at the opportune time. We were asking for uh, your comments. Now that you're back on, um, I, I think um, I'd just like to see if there's any comments that you'd like to add before we turn it over to public commentary. Well, thank you, Madam Chair. Now, so we've, we've been meeting with the, uh, the applicants for the last few months, um, and I think at this point we've resolved uh, come to a decision on the sewer improvements. As you know, in the original decision, there was a substantial amount of off-site sewer improvements that were required, um, both water and sewer, in order to meet both phase one and phase two. Uh, with the reduction in the in the project just to phase two, it, it seems that there's certainly no need for any water water off-site water improvements. There were still some sewer improvements that are obviously outlined in the AECOM uh, project, um, but I think. <laughs> it's frozen. Okay. Looks like we're going to have technical difficulties this evening. Um, I would have liked to have heard him finish speaking. Yeah. This is a tough one. I am Madam, hoping. Madam Chair, if I may, you can, I mean, before he can uh, add in any comments throughout the course of, of this, if you do want to move to public comment at this point, you sure. could. Okay. Is there anyone, uh, Mr. Truman, we see you back. Anything else mm -hmm. you add? No, I think at this point, we just need to finalize some of the details, but I think the, the, the language in the decision is vague enough that, you know, we can work offline with that. I think we've established, you know, the length of pipe and where it's going. We'll, we'll figure the details offline. So. At this point, we're, we're comfortable to, you know, recommend approval. Okay, great. Thank you. 
So on to the public commentary portion of the meeting. If there's anyone that wishes to be heard on this matter, I'm going to give us a few seconds to ask anyone that wants to be heard to identify themselves. And Madam Chair, we'll just add it. It's star six to unmute, correct? Yes, correct. Star six. All right. I feel confident. I hope that I've given everyone a chance to unmute themselves and um, be heard. So with that being said, I'd like to um, entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Motion to close. Can I get a second? Seconded. All in favor? Lisa Cosette? Aye. Patrick Fullen? Aye. Matt Armenti? Aye. Um, Peter Mulcahy? Aye. Mary Beth Lynch? Aye. So moved. Um, okay. I'd like to entertain a motion. Um, Madam Chair? I make yes. a motion to approve a modification to the comprehensive permit granted November 28th, 2016 to allow for a reduction in the density of units and with the conditions as listed in the decision. Can I please get a second? Seconded. Thank you. All in favor? Ms. Cosette? Aye. Mr. Fullen? Aye. Mr. Armenti? Aye. Mr. Mulcahy? Aye. And Ms. Lynch, I so moved. Thank you very much. This brings to an end a very long process, and we appreciate everyone's diligence and uh, patience on this. So um, that brings to an end our meeting. I'd like to entertain a motion to close the meeting, please. Motion to close. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor, Lisa? Aye. Patrick? Aye. Matthew? Aye. Peter? Aye. Mary Beth, I so moved. Wonderful. Thank you. Congratulations to everyone. And we'll see you all next month. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Much appreciated. It's our pleasure. Thank you.